Hello, 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 everybody, and welcome to another glorious episode of Unsealed and Revealed. What? Hello? Clapping? Are we too tired? Are we still burnt from Spooktacular? Did, did everybody get caught up on their sleep after Spooktacular? I know I slept like a big fat baby. Uh, I hope everybody else did too. Uh, sound off in the chats if you enjoyed Spooktacular. Already calling out for that chat sound off. I am your host, Jeff May, and with me, I have, as always, our friendly neighborhood six scale enthusiast slash expert and all around webhead to know, Guy Clender. Guy, how you doing, buddy? No, I can't. You, doing hear good? You. you having a fun time? You know what's up? You just can't hear me. This is great. Uh, of course. No, uh, of course. Me. Oh, that's okay. Uh, we'll get to it. And of course, to finish this Marvel team up, we have the amazing, the spectacular moderator, right. Cassidy on the ones and twos. And she'll be taking your questions, comments, and concerns through all the live channels that we have on the, wait for it, web. Oh, yeah, you made a pun. Because we're on you the World Wide Web. The information superhighway is also known as the web. Uh, and we have that going on now. It's really funny. Uh, it's funny to me because Guy is going through a bit of a uh, a problem with his uh, with his tech, which we'll fix. Um, but that being said, I get a lot of cool information to say. For example, because today we're looking at last week's surprise reveal, which is the Spider-Man Iron Spider armor six scale from Hot Toys based off of Marvel's Spider-Man. Now, in case you missed last week's show, we have a new segment at the end of each show, apparently. I love this. I am very excited about that, where we will reveal next week's unsealed item. Now, we don't even know what producer Alan is going to spring on us, and I know that last week's reveal, last week's? Last week. <laughs> last <laughs> reveal caught us all by surprise, and here we are today with the Iron Spider Armor Spider-Man. And at the end of the show, we will get next week's unsealed and revealed items, so make sure to stay tuned for the whole show. I can't stop saying how much I love doing that, by the way. And I know Guy and Cassidy, you both uh, kind of popped at that too, right? Oh, yeah. I dig it. I dig it. Ooh, look who has ears now. Yes, Welcome back yes. To I can actually right. hear you. Not that... I'm happy just to just to look at you, but it's neat to hear you too. <laughs> I love having you here. And guess what? We have a really cool thing going on uh, because as a matter of fact, we want you, that's you, not you guy, not you Cassidy, but you, the viewer at home, to join in the fun with our in-show contest that we're calling Guess the Reveal. We're not gonna say it that way. I'm probably only gonna say it that way the one time. But if you make a guess in the comment section during this show, when I prompt you, when I prompt, that's very important. You want to do it when I give you the prompt. And you are the first person to guess what next week's piece is going to be. Um, excuse me. Uh, you will win an exclusive sideshow pin that the lovely Vanna Guy will show you right about now. Look at that. Oof. Gotta love him. There he is. Hey, I'm going to take your blood. Uh, there are a few very basic rules. You have to be the first person to get it right. There is only one winner, and you have to be a resident of the United States that is 18 years or older. Now, for complete contest terms and conditions, make sure you visit side.show slash contest terms. Uh, we'll announce the winner's name at the end of this episode. So you will find out at the end of this show, Cassidy will, and then Cassidy will be in touch with you about receiving your prize. Now, as you can see, my man Guy Clender is back in the studio and he's feeling awesome, right, Guy? I feel wonderful. Uh, we are, of course, continuing to practice social distancing and being safe. Sam, my man, Super Producer Sam, is behind the camera, more than six feet away, wearing a mask, and no one else is in studio with Guy. Because as always, we are doing our best to ensure the good health of ourselves and others, and we hope, among hopes, that you are also doing the same. Now, that being said, I need to stop talking. So, Guy, I need you to crack that baby open. All right, here we go. Yeah, I was so excited that they... Uh... They revealed that. I love that we are, are now doing that. It gives me a chance to get even more excited about them. All right. So what we have here on the front, beautiful, beautiful artwork uh, done. And I love when it does the wraparound, particularly on the feet with the yeah. repulsor blast there. And then here on this side, we have a lot more in-game activity and close-up style that they've done there. Now this is class box. We have our cast and crew credits there. All right, I'm gonna 
close that up, we're going to open the bottom and slide this figure out. The colors on this guy are crazy. Just I do. I do love the the, uh, the Iron Spider armor that taking Spider Man's sort of design and adding that Tony Stark element to it. It really does make it pop. Oh yeah, I mean it's it's a uh, it's beautiful. So let's take a look. Our upper tray we're going to remove, and that's going to be our figure, our web effects, our additional hands, and our pegs. Underneath our web effect is going to be the the uh, gripper for our stand that we have. And then importantly, as always, our instruction manual. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, those this time are not extensive, but they are important to tell you a little bit about the way in which the suit moves and the way in which these spider tentacles move. And these things are crazy. This is on your lower tray. There are three of them that they've displayed here, along with the attachment that goes to the back that will hold them in place. All right, so these are your two trays. For now, let's take out Iron Spider, he is. set him up just straight out of the box, and take a peek at that. The, the, the gloss on this guy is amazing. Just yeah, absolutely. It does he have that armor sheen? Yeah, he does. He does. And the neat part is there are, um, you know, what is the iron pieces up here on the shoulders, the uh, helmet a little bit on the back, then on the legs, and then you have the undersuit. And the colors match perfectly. Um, they blend together really, really nice. And they've done incredible work on the suit, that underlying suit that they've done to it. Even that has uh, texture and multiple textures uh, in the variant uh, places, uh, up on the arms and down in the lower back section. Uh, when you're taking a look at those, and I'm going to spin this around and we'll get a close up here, you see that there's not only the different colors, but there's also that different texture. I, I do want to say that that's something that we have noticed about the um, pieces that we've seen from Hot Toys from Marvel's Spider-Man. The what, when you see those video game textures sort of brought to real life in 3D or in 4D, I guess, right? Yeah, that you can feel. Uh, it really does sort of pop because we get so many different versions of this character that we have seen. We've seen a version kind of like that um, from uh, Infinity War. We have seen, uh, we are seeing this version. We have seen classic uh, comics versions of that, and they all have their own unique, fantastic uh, looks to them. And this one pops. I love the way it sort of has that raised pop to it. it yeah, it's uh, it's it's a beautiful look on that. I like yourself. I, I'm I'm amazed that they've done that. They get that much detail uh, going on it, um, and they've done some new kind of points of articulation, a little bit different than we've seen. Uh, in the other Spider-Man, uh, and uh, also in the Iron Man stuff. So they kind of blended the two, which of course makes sense, uh, and really, really works here. Up here you're going to have your ball-jointed head. Look, at, I love the gloss and I love the line work down mm. the side on this one here. So you do have your ball-jointed head, and then you also have the neck has that. Has that extra little... Mm -hmm. Has that extra, and there's that... That texture that neck. we talked about that you see on the neck. You can see how just it catches the light. That's called nexture. <laughs> Is it? All right. I, li I, I like that. All right. Then we're moving down here into the front chest piece and that glorious golden spider look. Here's a new point that we've seen. It's right up here on the shoulders. Um, you've spoken about it when I do this on Trooper and other armored figures. Look at that. These actually lift up, move, rotate, cool. and that way, when I'm lifting my arm, or the figure's arm, <laughs> then I push it back down. So I mean, I'm not if having you own... to worry about any of that stuff bonking into itself. I was going to say, Guy, if you own the figure, it is technically your arm. <laughs> you know, but what's neat about it is I move it out, then when I adjust the arm to where I need it, mm -hmm. um, it's just a neat, new, fun kind of... Uh, piece that they've done there. Um, 
Well, it also adds to the, the starkness of it. Exactly, it does add to the starkness. Now the next part down here that is armor based is I wanna talk about right here, okay? And again, we see how that is up and over the arm. Now you see that that does have a point to it. All right, yeah. there. So when you are moving this, please be cautious because if you just were to quickly move that arm, that point could push into the suit and give you a tear. So they are suggesting that you, number one, do it slowly, but kind of lift a little bit out of it. Okay. So that is a fab, the red is a fabric, is that the correct? The red undersuit is a fabric, and then this okay. front piece that is on the forearm, that's gonna be the iron and or, or the uh, plastic. So that is definitely something that we wanna be aware of, mm -hmm. uh, that you have something that is this kind of mixed media, this, this heavily mixed, um, to be very careful in your posing, especially with a character like Spider-Man, because I'm going to assume that there is going to be some posability um, to this piece. So yes. yeah, let's definitely let's 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 play it the way Guy would. Let's make sure we read those instructions and be very careful. Yeah, you're you're uh, you've been waiting a long time to get this. The last thing you want to do is uh, you know uh, damage it when you uh, first do it. Now, because it does have this armor on the forearm, you get a little bit more than ninety in the bend there. I know we're kind of jumping there for our, our uh, posability and range of motion, but since we've shown it off there, I do want to get into that on that. Dig on that. Next up on that and range of motion and importance is going to be down here on the chest. Now that spider emblem is permanently mm. attached. It's not a free floating. As you notice down here, that obviously comes down to an arrow-like point. And because it is attached and that's pointed, any time that you're gonna be moving this waist, particularly forward, um, be cautious because remember you have a point that's gonna be pressing down toward that suit. So if I'm mm -hmm. gonna be doing that, I'm not gonna go too far with it. It does lift with it, okay as it bends, but again, be cautious because of the way it is. Now it's not an actual piece of metal, this is a rubberized piece, but still it is uh, down to a point. So it is rubberized though. Mm -hmm. that, this is a rubberized okay. piece, but it does still, as I said, come down to a point. So is it? Important. Is there anything metal or, or is it all? Uh, uh, no, all... There, there are no metal parts on this one. They are, are metal looking. Uh, parts to it, but as far as actual metal, no, they are not. Yeah, I mean, with a Spider-Man piece, I wouldn't want. You wouldn't. Yeah, you wouldn't really want uh, the metal. Uh, I mean, you might have a few people saying are the are the lower leg parts or the or the uh, forearms uh, diecast, and those are those are not. Uh, but they do have that wonderful metal uh, uh, paint application to them. So this one here is going to be all solid, and as I said, you do have the. Uh, movement in here. It does have a little bit of motion there in the chest version, but just be cautious when you're, there you go. Yeah. There's your old Doing tiny old stretches. Tiny stretch. um, Did those this morning? So those are just uh, two special areas to uh, be aware of when you're doing your poses. And, uh, you know, we talk on this show and I know Terry does to just kind of enjoy um, doing enjoy it the and, and take your time. I would say, Guy, thank you for giving us those two pieces of information right up top, too. Uh, I know that oftentimes we we kind of, you know, we don't think to be like, well, what should we be cautious of first? And so I love that you you started us out with that because this is one of those, like, very important pieces. A lot of people are, I've been waiting for this. A lot of people are ready for it. Sp uh, Marvel Spider-Man, hugely popular. Iron Spider, hugely popular. Um, so the last thing you would want to do is to either, you know, tear that bicep fabric or something around the abdomen. So thank you for that guy. That was smart. Oh, well, thanks. Um, yeah, I, I, it's, I have done it. We probably, many of us have the frustration of when you just get it and you do something quickly and have that mm -hmm. issue. Um, you've heard when I've done a few of the poses that you do have that ratchet, particularly yeah. here in the leg. See when I move that in that the piece does lift underneath the hip joint. <laughs> so you can do it to the side. Okay, you do have that range. Know that it will be touching the suit. And so that is really a preference of what you've 
If you say, I don't like it that close, that's fine, but know that it does have the ability to do that. All right, so anytime that um, you're going to be moving one of the joint areas where the armor and the suit connect, that's when you want to be pretty cautious yeah. about it. Now, here's I will. A Hold on, before you get to that, because uh, I just saw what time it was, I'm going to say for those of you that are just joining us, we are checking out the uh, Spider-Man Iron Spider Armor 6 scale from Marvel Spider-Man by Hot Toys in Cassidy. Do we have any questions, comments, or concerns for Guy in the chats? At the moment, not yet. There is just a lot of love for the design. Um, you know, a lot of people talking about how they're going to pose it and everything. I will relay questions to you as they come, though. I love it. I, I'm, I'm with the people in the comments talking about the designs. It is such a unique design on a part of both the game designers as well as Hot Toys to bring that to life because it is such a different version of such a familiar costume. It looks so sharp and I love those colors. So I'm with them. That, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's really such a fun, fun, fun design. So when we get back down here to the leg, I want to talk about uh, a few more points of the articulation and a few uh, new ways in which the suit is done. So let's take a look down here on the knee. On the other Spider-Man, uh, we have the suit is that um, the stretch fabric all the way down, where this one here, you'll see is actually jointed on the back there. And being that way, we don't have to worry about it being crimped, but we also are given a great range of motion. Wow. Like so. That, that is intense. Um, and, oh, don't you dare peek. Don't you dare peek, Jeff. I was uh, going to say, Guy, you, you, you kind of preempted me a little I, bit. There. I know you were getting excited about that. But I do love that that's done that way. Um, this, particularly for the, uh, for the dynamic poses that you're going to do with a figure like this, um, that you're not hindered by that, uh, that you're not worried about the suit bunch um, there. Okay, so that's just a fun new one. And then, of course, when it does pivot, you do have the kneecap piece that's separated. Okay, and you see they've gone and done all the detail underneath on that one there. Now, moving down toward the foot. All right. On here, like we've seen on the Iron Man armor, both the mm -hmm. front and back of here on the ankle is actually does move, okay? So when it needs to move for moving the feet, it will do that, okay? <laughs> so when I'm clinking forward, you see how it opened there? Move it back. All right, so it just naturally does it. So you get a good forward bend. You'll also see what we've liked on these Spider-Man characters is that foot bend. I really dig oh, that. Yeah. I, I like, like that. that the toe can go up like so. This is gonna be that ball joint, giving you a lot of range of motion there. And Jeff, are you are you ready for it? I am ready for it, guy. What do you got, bud? What do you got? This is one of my absolute favorite. Boom, double repulsor <laughs> ray. Tread watch. <laughs> what I, I what I like about what they've done uh, with these here is they are actually uh, lit. These are not a physical light, but they've done such a fun paint job on there that you uh, have that light look to it. Um, and I think that's a lot of fun uh, with this particular armor. And when you do it in those dynamic poses, uh, the neat part is you'll probably be seeing the bottom of the feet and seeing them lit like that is pretty darn fun. So. I'll, yeah, it's pretty rad. Yeah, that is, we get that sort of the fun of the Spider-Man and Iron Man, the synthesis of those two together. And that really, I think, is kind of the fun of this piece. I mean, I think a lot of us when we were, uh, if, if you're a comic fan and you remember during um, Civil War when that started back in the day and we saw the, the first peakings of the Iron Spider costume and it blew us all away. And then to see it be popularized in so many different uh, forms of media, including Infinity War and also like, you know, obviously what we're seeing right here in Marvel's Spider-Man, um, the game. 
uh people really pop for this uh, it's such a fan favorite armor you know there's so many great spider-man armors throughout or spider-man outfits and costumes throughout history um and some that were like we were peaked at we were shown and then they just disappeared you know that happens in comics a lot i remember it was like a, a spider armor in in web of spider-man 100 we saw it one time and then it disappeared and then it was gone but this Stayed. This has stayed in the lexicon. This has stayed in the zeitgeist. It's such an important part of Spider-Man's history. And to see it in this game, and now to see that game's version of it in a six scale by Hot Toys, really knocks it out of the park. God, I love it. Now, when we talked about that repulsor ray on the feet, that's also done here on the hand, that same kind of warm, glowing paint job uh, that they've done to it with that kind of brighter light center and the warm uh, ignited blue uh, on the edges. Um, now, this is one of the hands that he's going to come with. They are just a slightly relaxed hand. You are going to have your two fist hands, both a right and left. Mm -hmm. You'll have your web slinging hands. I'm going to set these in front. Yeah, let's set those up. I always love the, the hands that he comes with. You remember, I, I like to call those the picture day hands. <laughs> my hands in pictures so i always have them look exactly like that and everyone's like why does it what are you doing with your hands in that photo <laughs> what are you doing I don't with know. your hands I never know what I'm doing with my hands in the photo so first up we have our fist second where you see the thumb is going to be for uh, use with your webs you have your wall crawler splayed out hand and then you have mm -hmm. your spider-man Blast. I've always liked that one. That's one of my favorites. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so you have those. Now, the next accessory that's important to talk about, and it's the one that everybody wants to see, we're going to uh, leave the uh, camera where it is and to show you these. Now, there are three. These are the Iron Spider arms. These things are amazing. Now, in your instructions, when we've talked about uh, what you have there, is going to show you the range of motion, and it talks about these here. These are all going to be that ratchet. Jeff, I'm going to see if you can hear me doing them. I can. Yeah, yeah, that okay. is a clear sound. Yeah, um, and because of that, these are going to be able to hold those poses. Now, I've extended one out, and Jeff, this Jeez, that's, here that's like a wet is... 43 centimeters long. Jeez. That is impressive. Absolutely. So absolutely massive. Now, you have one, like two, foot three, four, five points of articulation as far as those ratchet bends that we can do. And then you also have the pivot points that are going to be down here. All right, as well. So each time that you're going to do them, they will be a ratchet, and that is to hold them. Now, what might be asked, and uh, I'm not sure if it's uh, going to pop up yet, is, uh, hey, could you balance him on just those? I would not recommend that, uh, and here's why. Let's take a look close up at the end of one of these. See, that's a small little point, and to balance your entire figure on three small points, it's probably not going to be your best bet. I mean, yeah, they are. You you would have points of contact, but I, I wouldn't recommend it either. Correct. I, I mean, look, it's doable. And if you are a Terry Smith or a Guy Clender, which one of us actually is one of those people, <laughs> you would be able to do that. But this is another reminder of like when you are posing a piece and especially a spider-man too because a lot of time people you know they find it easy to do museum poses with something like an iron man or something like that but with a spider-man we always you know people always want to do dynamic poses this is definitely one of those you need to take your time this is going to be at least an hour of getting yeah. this thing and you're gonna but it's gonna it's the thing is it's gonna be an enjoyable time that's why you're doing it, um, yeah. because you can do so much. The fact that the arms have that many points, uh, because they can lock in like that, um, is really neat. So these are all three that you have. And now this is on the back, and we're going to swip that out for the other one. You see that it's going to have the three holes. Now, anytime when we're going to do this, uh, and Jeff, I'm going to kind of move some things around here. And you're allowed to use do the that, overhead guys. cam 
to show what I'm doing with this one here. Right. I do have my dynamic stand ready so we can get him up underneath, putting my thumb underneath the bottom and lifting up and off. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then you see, move that there. Thank you, Sam. You'll see that we have what holds the piece and then the three large points that are gonna be for that. So the first thing we're going to do is place the back panel on. Okay, make sure to press down and thoroughly get that into place. Because remember, you're going to have these large pieces behind them. When you're putting these in, there is not a particular order. Okay. That thing is massive. I didn't even, it didn't even hit my brain as to how big they were when you were holding them up until you put that on the piece. And I was like, Cheekum crow. <laughs> yeah, watch. <laughs> what I'm going to do is I've put two in. Um, the third one I'll do once I have them up on the stand, but I'm going to hold one next to him so you see just how big it is. All right. So when you do push these down, make sure that you push them all the way in. You're going to feel a little resistance and know that they've locked in, okay, and that they can twist from there. All right. I'm now going to place him on the dynamic stand. I'm going to bend this forward. <laughs> Get your shelves ready, everybody. Exactly. This is... this, uh, this guy is going to take up, if you do use those uh, dead lofts, this is going to take up the full piece. Okay, you can see, I'm going to spin it to the side. You can see just how wow, massive so these big. are. And because I have it to the side, I'm going to extend one here. And this is really, this is just because I want to show this off to my friend Jeff. That's how yeah, tall that is. Next we're hand. looking at almost 16 inches there. Yeah, it's uh, it's uh, it's massive. So there, I'm going to spin it around there. You're going to see that there quarter. is the third hole there that I'm going to be putting this last one uh, in. Push in like so. And the amount of places that you can move the arms is really incredible. That's kind of the fun part. Um, I am not any good at the game. I have found that I, uh, <laughs> I am not great at these games, but uh, I do like seeing other people play them well. Um, I know that uh, I believe somebody uh, that is currently on camera with us uh, is really good at this game. Cassidy plays well, this. I was going to say, it's not me, unfortunately. No. Cass, yeah. is, Cass is a big player. I love this game so much. <laughs> <laughs> I love it so much. <laughs> so um, as you can see, this guy takes up, as you said, Jeff, get your shelves ready. He yeah. does take up a lot of space. Yeah, this is one of those games. I unfortunately, uh, I'm, an, I'm an Xbox loyalist. And so unfortunately, I have uh, sort of missed out on, on this game. Which is a real bummer because uh, one of my friends, uh, the excellent writer Christos Gage, was one of the writers of this game. And he was like, have you played the game yet? And I'm like, no, I'm a bad person. Uh, well, as I, long as I, you, I mean, you were you were forthright in saying I'm a bad person. Um, I don't know if we can pull the camera back that far. Yeah, it's pretty I mean, big. <laughs> okay, that's, uh, I don't... You must have a lot of shelf space if this is the pose you choose. But the fact is, this is a thing you can do. Yeah. If you're just looking at the physical size that this has. All right. I love it. If this is the pose that you choose, we're going to we're gonna need to talk to you, though. We're gonna have... <laughs> you know, uh, yeah. You're like, I just did three straight. Uh, you know, all pronged out. Yeah, um, do me a favor. Well, I'm going to ask you um, uh, to... Step aside. I'm going to ask you to take a few steps off to the side, just so we can see the full uh, the fullness of it against this uh, really sharp blue background here. Wow, he didn't even he just didn't even wait. He's like, oh, I want to take a break. He's in the restroom now, so we're going to have to wait another. <laughs> no, no, Jeff. Um, I am I am happy to move off to the side. Yeah, and you can see just how just how big uh, he yeah. is now. I have the three out here. Another reason that I wanted to kind of pull all three out to the side like this is I don't know that it's going to pop up in questions, but I do want to, um, in case it does, uh, if there is the question of could I balance the character, this figure, on just the three points. Um, I'll say I wouldn't. Uh, and here's, here's why. You've got those three points we've talked about. 
um, it really wouldn't be a good idea. It's, he's not he's not really a tripod character, yeah. even though these things are that large. This is the question of uh, can versus should. Exactly. Uh, where the question is, can you? Probably. Should you? Well, guys saying probably not. Yeah. Uh, I, think I wouldn't if I were you. You have the stand. He's, he is the Spider-Man. It's doable. But is it necessarily worth the, the attempt or, or is it something that you would recommend? Probably not. Right. Um, I am loving just being able to fling these arms around and, and do them. And that's that's just me playing with the arms. And I'm not I'm not even moving the, the, the main figure body, which is what you and I talked about, that uh, you're going to spend a lot of time. Yeah, you are. Uh, and, and I love that we've gotten to that part because we are about halfway through the show. Um, so for those of you that are just joining us, we are looking at the Spider-Man Iron Spider Armor 6 scale from Hot Toys from Marvel Spider-Man. And uh, also, don't forget, if you like what you're seeing, which you do. I mean, come on, you do. You love what you're seeing. You love what we're doing here. I need this. Just bear with me. Uh, make sure to subscribe and hit the notifications bell on our YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any of our content. Make sure you're also following us on our social channels like at Collect Sideshow on Twitter and at Sideshow Collectibles on Instagram so you can get those constant notifications about giveaways and other content throughout the year. If you just survived Spooktacular, you know how important those notifications are. Uh, we had stuff going at all times going through. And by the way, this year is not over uh, for things like this. We have a lot of cool stuff coming up. If you are a comic book fan, a uh, couple of things for you. You're going to need to check out our weekly show, The Comics Hall with Amy and Paul, and that airs weekly at 4 p.m. on Wednesdays, uh, otherwise known as New Comic Book Day, live on all of our social channels. And if you prefer podcasts, then you can catch the show on Thursdays on Spotify or Apple Podcasts. And Cassidy will drop a link to that right now. And if you like podcasts and comics, tomorrow, Sideshow Sideshow with Jeff May, <laughs> no big deal, uh, will be going up tomorrow morning uh, around 8 a.m. Pacific. And uh, if you're a comics fan, I have uh, my good friend and one of my favorite artists of all time, J.G. Jones, uh, will be my guest. Uh, he is an absolutely amazing cover artist. You might know him uh, from Black Widow, from Wanted. He did all the 52 covers. He has done a million things, all of which better than the last. So I'm really excited about that. Now, that being said, Cassidy, how are we doing in those comments? We are doing good. We have um, a few questions coming up real fast. Um, we have some questions about um, how Guy would personally pose it to keep the suit material intact. All right. Um, well, let's let's address that one first. Um, I, this is this is again this is my first time uh, playing with the the figure, um, and right now I'm really enjoying what I'm able to do with him. Uh, what I've done here was just kind of the simple leg forward and leg back. I'm fine with the uh, what we'll call the undersuit doing any uh, creasing, moving, and, and kind of uh, folding, because that's the way it naturally would, would do. Um, where this particular armored suit works for me uh, in other ways is, as I said about those legs, that I, that's, that's not connecting at all. I'm not having to worry about that suit uh, there at all. So I can do all types of things. Yeah, that looks great. That's a rad pose. Um, with the lower end. Uh, I talked about the importance of uh, there in the torso and the chest because of that gold emblem. Be cautious if you're going to bend forward. I kind of like him back in that um, more gymnastic pose, so I'm not having to worry about that um, uh, as much. Be cautious, as we said, about the front. But um, I got to be honest, I'm really looking forward to getting this guy home, and this will be a full day, perhaps two, uh, in, <laughs> in playing around. Just because normally you have the, the figure, and you, you pose your figure. Well, now your figure has all these extra appendages. Uh, yeah, you have, you have posing on your posing. Yeah, you have, yeah, you have posing on your posing. And uh, ah, Sam, thank you very much. Uh, that's a great view to see um, how they connect in there. How the three hold and all of the yeah. ways in which they can spin and move and turn that really does look sharp it does it does and the gold that is on the arms is the same gold that's throughout the rest of the suit so it all it all matches in there it's uh it's a it's a this is really really impressive um to uh to see 
And it, it's, it's much better as a figure uh, than in the game when all I do is fall off buildings. Um, I'm yeah, not... guys, but you are a master at falling off those buildings. Yeah, God, oh, you, I can go anybody. right to the edge. Sometimes I'll hold. Other times I go right off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. it's it um, really sharp. I want to move him off to the side for a second and talk about the last uh, things that you're going to have in the box. Yes, there is the dynamic stand, and it is a classic dynamic stand that we have seen. Uh, I will, however, remove it from there so you can see the logo that's going to be done. Look at that. On there, reflective, and then says Iron Spider Armor. Okay. I really like that. I, I was... Um... I'm going to I'm going to put this out there and, and I don't know if people are with me or not but when I was first introduced to Marvel's Spider-Man's costume and that logo the white logo on the cot I wasn't a fan. Mm -hmm. I did not like it at first and I, it has since grown on me so much that I like it almost as much as the uh like original like classic comic book version of Spider-Man. Like that I love that white logo and you've seen it on so many great pieces. Um, and every time I see it, I like it just a little bit more. Now, what I'm going to do here is I love that we have some light here, but we're also looking at some translucent pieces. So I'm going to move these up. Now, if you have any of the other Spider-Man uh, figures, this is the uh, web assortment that we've seen come with them. Okay, we have two that kind of have the uh, bulbous mid-flight. Okay, we have what we refer to or I refer to as the splooch. The splooch. The splooch. Um, my favorite, the lasso. Oh, okay. yeah. Which is a I think that's the one that we, we all really love. Yeah, I, that I, that's, I, I love the, the, yeah. the idea of that one. You have the straight out into the chute. This will go into the hands. And then you have the forward extensions. Now, yeah. for the uh, splooch, it can go onto the ends of these here. Uh, if this is anybody's first Spider-Man, uh, welcome. It's really fun. <laughs> um, you will connect that little splooch to there. Okay, that can also go to either, I guess, what do you want to call this one? Uh, is, that the, is that the swing line? Yeah, we'll call it the swing line. Swing line. That's what that's for, right? That's the swing line? Yeah, one? and our last two. The lasso I al we also kind of use as that swing line too. So you get two different options of how you want to do it. Yes. Um, now, um, it's not in the instructions. It's been in the instructions for some of the other figures, but I will go over it here. And that is the use of the lasso with one of the hands. And you're going to use the one that kind of looks like the Fonzie thumbs up. Hey. Okay. And it will have a point top and bottom. Um, on the other ones, it'll tell you, and I'm going to tell you here, you go on the top first, put it into place, mm -hmm. like so, and then the underside and down in. You know, it's funny, too, because I know um, we tend to lean towards that lasso version of the webbing. I know that, Guy, you and I prefer it. Yeah. With this piece... I honestly think that I would do a mid-air flying with the him shooting a web out. I think I think that's probably what I'm going to go with. So we're going to uh, take a look, and I'm going to uh, do one of the hands that way. Um, another thing I want to uh, talk about for anybody that's a, uh, again, like I said, if this is your first Spider-Man, um, there may be the question, can I connect all of the web pieces together to have one really long piece? No, they do not connect together. Um, and, no, uh, it's like, no, and don't be weird about it. Well, I just don't want you trying to mash them together going, how do these, how do these darn things connect? Um, uh, because that is not uh, something that they, they will be doing. Okay, so Jeff wants to see a mid-launch. So I'm going to... I mean, to be fair, I didn't actually request it. I just said that's how I would pose You that. said that's how you would, and, and I, gosh darn it, I want my friend to have what he wants today. You know, I will say this, though. Th this is the first time that that's how I would probably pose him. Usually with the other Spider-Man, uh, Spider-Mans, Spider-Men, mm -hmm. it's Spider-Mans technically, I think, because we've done Scarlet Spider. We've done the Spider-Man. You love how I say it, everybody. The 2099. I know you say 2099, but 
I've been saying it this way since 1992. Leave me alone. Uh, this is the first time that I would probably opt for that that shooting web. Now, on this one here, here's where uh, I've removed the hand so we can see it. Um, Sam's going to give us a close-up here. There is where you're going to put your web end. Okay, so I'm going to take that and I will insert and so I'm gonna put the hand on first, but I did want you to see where the connection point is on some of the others. It'll be kind of under the suit or it'll be an attachment. Um, this is right on the wrist cuff. Okay, place my shooter arm in there. And this is my Jeff May shooter. Are you calling it the Jeff May shooter now? That's I don't like having those words in that order. Oh, well, yeah. see, and I didn't even think that. Now, you could, of course, use one of the longer pieces if you so choose. In fact, if you like, we'll long and splooch. <laughs> yes, that's a much better combination of words, Guy. Thank you for... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, you know, if, if anyone's looking for a Christmas gift or, or a birthday gift, um, the word a day calendar would probably be a good one for me. Um, so I don't uh, use words like splooch. So guy, once, now that you have that, I'm going to do my classic, get the H out of the camera request. Can you move off to the side so we can see it up against that blue background? Because man, does it pop on that blue? Uh, that just looks so good, right? Yeah. Yeah, uh, he just it, it, between having this is this is really um, like having two figures. It's like having two figures to pose. You have not only the main figure, but then all of the additional. This is this is a two in one uh, kind of deal, and I I, I really dig on that. Um, Cassidy, yeah. are there questions that that I can do, or hopefully answer? Um, yes. So we did have a question about um, how many points of articulations are on the arms. Oh, the, the uh, I'm, I'm guessing it's referring to the iron arms. Mm -hmm. All right. I am yes. going to remove one and we will go over those and show those um, individually. All right. So uh, when you're done and you decide I want him static without those uh, for for mine, Hold right at this large section here, the large joint, and I'm going to turn and gently lift up. Okay, so here we have one. Okay, when you uh, first unpack them, they are going to be in a curl like this. You have your one point here. All right, your second right there. You have a third there. Your fourth ratchet is there. You have a fifth ratchet right there. In addition to that, once this is in, you do have the rotation. Actually, there's a sixth ratchet that is there, and Oof. then you have your rotation. Look at that. A lot. So look at all those options you can have there. And speaking of options, I guess I am going to uh, check out some options now because uh, we are uh, starting to uh, creep in a little bit towards uh, towards the grand finale of our show, which means I am going to introduce uh, our brandy new game, uh, Guess the Reveal. Oh. Uh, we're going to do Guess the Reveal. That's right. So producer, uh, producer Alan uh, has a secret, a super secret six scale that he is going to uh present to guy and in doing that uh now i am prompting you right now to guess what next week's episode is going to be what are we going to do uh first person to get it right is going to win that super exclusive stan lee pin that's a vampire lee hey uh i don't know why that's it's just my stan lee is hey <laughs> but, you know I'll get sued. Uh, so <laughs> I like that you do that. 
Yeah, uh, so it looks like uh, producer Alan has placed this on there. So we're going to give a couple of a uh, couple of seconds. Cassidy, I'm going to let you be able to uh, decide how much time we have here. What do you think for those guesses? I have plenty of time to play with this guy, so I'm good. I say if oh, I think we might actually have a winner already. But I would say wow, um, you guys know what it is. Too. No, I don't. Cassidy does. I, I, don't. I do. Cassidy. <gasps> Cassidy has to know what it is okay. so she can actually find yeah. out. Who it is. <laughs> that, that, you know, what, now that yeah, what, that would make sense. What a, what a cluster would that be <laughs> if uh, if we did that? So that being said, um, uh, we will do the big reveal where we pull it, and then Cassidy, uh, you can announce the winner. Um, so what do you say? What do you say? What do you say? I am chomping at the bit right now to see what this is. So uh, who's gonna pull the who's gonna pull the, the cloth here? Is that gonna I, be? I, I, I will be doing that, but I have not seen it. Cassidy, you tell me when, give me a three, two, one. Um, I would say, yeah, we could do it now. Three, two, one, three, go, two, go, 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 pull it, pull it, pull it. Oh, what? Oh, it's a oh. Yes! Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, Ooh. yes. All right, okay. this is this is from Solo. This is to continue my Solo collection. This is the Darth Maul. Uh, I am. I Can am you check all that, check that out? Oh, this okay. is a big thick box. I can't uh, wait to see what's in it. We'll have to see next week. But look at that beauty, Cassidy. I am going to ask you if you could announce who our winner is. Who the first person to drop down a Darth Maul uh, guess wow. on that one? Our winner was Brad M over on the Facebook page. Facebook page, Brad M. You were the first person uh, to get that in. Congratulations, Cassidy. Uh, make sure you get that email. Cassidy's going to get at you and get that information, right? You're going to do that. That's what you do. Yes, Brad. I will be in contact with you shortly on how to claim your prize. That's correct. Uh, very much looking forward to this. Huge fan. And uh, speaking of Sideshow, Sideshow, uh, and friend of the show, um, Sam Whitwer, the voice of Darth Maul. Um, very happy to hear him in Solo. I love Solo. We've talked about it. But you know what? Let's not jump to next week's episode already. But, oh, I want to talk about it. Oh, that's going to be still, neat. It's going to be so I still want to take a look at this uh, Iron Spider here because we may have some more uh, questions, comments, or concerns. I know Cassidy has been uh, furious, uh, Lee typing. Not furious. Cassidy doesn't get furious with <laughs> After the show, it's a real nightmare. Uh, but Cassidy's been furiously typing, but she may have some questions, comments, or concerns um, from the chat. Yes. We did have a question from It's the Law on YouTube asking, is the fabric uh, more similar to MCU Iron Spider or like the homecoming tech suit Spider-Man? Uh, repeat that real quick, because I want to hear the two, two that you asked about. Um, so they wanted to know if the fabric is more similar to the MCU Iron Spider um, or like the homecoming tech suit Spider-Man. Well, okay. So which I think what we're referring to, and this is a this is a great side by side here. Mm -hmm. Little difference in the uh, size of the additional arms. Um, yeah. This suit here, the uh, film version, is very mm -hmm. slick um, and and smooth. Okay, where this mm -hmm. one here has a texture to it, but as far as posability. And as far as what it's made from, uh, they yeah. are going to be very, very similar as far as that goes. So, so is it closer to the uh, with the fabric? Then, what's it closest to? Would you of the ones we've done before? Of the Spider Man we've done before, the closest I think that we've had with this type uh, might be. Um, well, we didn't, like we didn't do it, but um, Punk Spider Man. Really? Spider Punk. Spider Punk uh, on his legs here is that thinner fabric like that. Um, okay. Uh, another one that you and I have done that I would say is uh, somewhat similar would be the, tell me the numbers again. <laughs> Spider Man 2099. Exactly, I, I 2099. Love, um, I love reactions i get from people when they when they get mad at me for calling it that i was a kid and that's how i said it leave me alone about it well you, you know i i'm i'm wondering if that was influenced by a tv show that was beverly hills and then a bunch of numbers uh maybe that's why you did it i don't know but uh i like that you do it uh 
And that's fantastic. So um, hopefully that's um, that somewhat answers the question. The fact is, this is different uh, and quite a bit different because of the blend of both that cloth undersuit and then the metal uh, plates over top. Yeah, okay, that's pretty So that's cool. where it's um, a little different as far as that. Um, Cass, other ones? Um, I know we have talked about what, um, you know, first time Spider-Man owners might want to do with this piece, but do you have any parting, um, just last minute tips for Josh O on the Let Your Geek Side Show Facebook group? Um, Josh, here's, here's what I'll say is take your time, have fun and enjoy it. That's why you have it. That's, um, uh, when a new toy arrives to me, that, that means my day is that whatever was on, the, you know, the docket for the day is done. Um, and it is replaced with, oh boy, I get to play. Um, so with this one here, I would say, take your time, read your instructions, have fun with it. Um, and if you, if, if you are purchasing this because you're a fan of the game and you really enjoy the game, then, then play the game a little bit and say, hey, I loved when my character did that. Just so you have frames of reference. Sometimes when I'm posing, I'll, I'll uh, use you know, still photos from a film, or if it's one of the comics, um, there is a panel that, that really speaks to me. And those are something that I'll wanna recreate. That's something I like to do um, before coming in here to, to show one of the figures to you is, is, okay, here's some of the things that I really liked when I saw this, can I recreate that? Yeah, screenshots help a lot, I'd say, from from that uh, that aspect too. So yeah, definitely, that's great advice, Guy, is you bought this because you love what it's from, so don't be afraid to incorporate what it's from, whether it's Marvel Spider-Man, uh, the game, whether it's uh, you know a, a movie that you like or something like that, and you wanna recreate that pose, definitely do that. But, and as Guy said, and as we hear from Terry Smith a million times over, hey everyone, but also we hear him say, <laughs> be very careful uh, and take your time. That's the one key we have with these. This is a piece that means a lot to you, that you, you, you bought it, it meant the world, and it, it, me it was worth it for you to get. So definitely treat it with the utmost respect and have fun. This is a toy. Yes. It's not for, it's hot toys. Marvel Spider-Man, you know, like, like, let's, oh, that's really good guy. You really knocked that out of the park. I'm, I'm really, really uh, in the game. Um, yeah, this is why I would not pose this in my, in the way I play the game because he wouldn't have the arms and he's falling. Um, it's not a great pose. It's uh, it really isn't, but <laughs> your, your pose is just him falling <laughs> and then he died in the game. He's yeah. Dead. Yeah. Uh, but, um, it's not hard to create that pose though, but the additional uh, armament on that just gives you so much. Um, it's this is really surprising how how much fun uh, that I'm getting. I knew it was going to be enjoyable, but, but this is just so much more uh, than I had expected yeah. because of how how enormous those are, how detailed. <laughs> it's really. Guy, do me again. Do me a favor. Can you step to the side and then somehow continue to rotate? <laughs> um, okay, Is I am a, going to duck. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. It's funny because I, 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 it, as I get notes, uh, it, I'll see these notes come up and I'll be like, I love that I'm making Guy do this. It makes me feel very good. Uh, yes, you stay down there, Guy. You stay down. You stay down. You know what you did. You know what <laughs> you duck. did. No one will see you playing with your toys. Okay. <laughs> Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. It's a beaut. Uh, just the, the color pop on there. And Cassidy, I think this might be your, your uh, the first Spider-Man 1-6 you're going to add to your library. Yeah. yeah. Cassidy, I think mm -hmm. I can think Cassidy has already committed um, to buying one of these. And I am, I am here in support of it because uh, now that we have gone through this, uh, I think this is a good time to say uh, thank you all so much for joining us because you've been an amazing audience. And if you're interested in any of our giveaways, which, yeah, 
Like, of course you are. Why wouldn't you be? Yeah, this is very important. You need to check out our Sideshow Art Prints channel on social media because every Thursday we preview new prints that are coming in stock and give away one in celebration. Now, right now we are giving away the Golden Age Wonder Woman by Meg Knappenberger, uh, the Bud and Lou by Olivia. And let me tell you, this is one that I am buying myself. I don't know if you guys have seen this. I've been watching her doing the painting on Instagram as we go through. Bud and Lou, this piece by Olivia, is unbelievable. Uh, uh, and, of course, the Galvarb by De uh, Devil Seely and the Ecto-1 by Brian Root. So there are four prints that are going to be up uh, for giveaway on the Sarcho Art Prints channel uh, on Instagram. Uh, so you're going to want to check that out uh, on all social media, I guess. And then thank you all, uh, of course, for hanging out with us. Guy, you killed it today. What a great piece taking a look at the uh, Marvel's Spider-Man uh, uh, Iron Spider Armor, Spider-Man 6 scale by Hot Toys. Uh, it looks great, guy. You made it look great. <laughs> thank you so much. You were a killer today. Thank you. you. Knocked it out of the park. Uh, thank you all, by the way, for watching the show. Uh, remember, we do not have a show without you watching and participating. And uh, I am very excited yeah. that we get to uh, take a look at that. And, of course, congratulations to our pin winner for guessing that it was Darth Maul. Uh, I forgot the name off the top. Cassidy, you remember who it was? Brad M from Facebook. See, it was Brad M from, I knew Cassidy would have it. That's why she's a killer, uh, but not legally. Uh, <laughs> what am I doing? Why don't I just let the show? You're all fantastic. Thank you all for watching. We will be back next week, November 9th at 10 a.m. Pacific uh, for another episode of Unsealed and Revealed. Don't forget to check out the comics hall. Don't forget to check out Sideshow, Sideshow, and don't forget to let your geek sideshow. Have a great day. Bye. Thank you.